Stillwater is about uh, a guy named Bill Baker, who is just a man trying to do his best, working his oil rigs in Oklahoma. And um, his daughter has been imprisoned at this point for five years, uh, convicted of killing her girlfriend. And he comes to Marseille and she basically asks him to try and help her become free. And along the way, he finds these two other women in Virginie and Maya and forms almost a weird family unit there too. And he really is trying to redeem himself and his past actions as a father and trying his best to get his daughter out of prison. And all the while, he's in Marseille and she's sitting there just like he's her only hope. I wanted to play Allison because it's always interesting as an actor when you go into an audition and you haven't read the full script and it's very rare and kind of incredible when you have these eight pages of dialogue that are completely out of context but it, it feels so real and it feels so like you understand who this person is. And um, so when I read it, I mean, I, I just felt like she was in a position that's very rare and not normal life for most people. But there was something still so relatable about her, her emotions. Working with Matt Damon has been incredible. He's, he's a dad in real life um, of four daughters. So in rehearsal, when I got mascara all over his white t-shirt, he was like, oh, no, it's OK. This happens. Um, but he's just a really, you think Matt Damon, you're like, Jason Bourne, like action star. And he's just a sweet guy. He's like, I'm going to go FaceTime my kids. And he also is really great as a, a scene partner and to act with because he he doesn't, at, you know, at his point, he's so talented and he's so well known. You would think there would be maybe some resting on laurels. I mean, I would be that way if I was him. But he's so committed to each scene and he's so respectful and we have some of the most intense scenes in the film together in it. So every day for me is like very emotional and he just, he doesn't, he doesn't think, um, he's better than anybody and he just treats everybody very equally and he's really just a great guy to work with and obviously to act against is intimidating but he's very collaborative so it's been amazing. When I started working with her she's A, just gorgeous, always smells good, fun fact, is really really nice and there's, with Virginie she's just she plays her so soft and sweet, but it's not like she's this damsel in distress either. She has her stuff together, and she's a tough chick. I mean, but she's not. She doesn't have to prove it. And I love, I love how she how she plays it. And working with her is just incredible. She's truly a brilliant, brilliant actress. When I watched her, I was like, I was definitely not this good as a child. I was just not. She's so focused and she takes direction so quickly. And it's like watching a little professional. Like she's playing around hopscotch and like jumping around, talking about her dogs. And then all of a sudden she goes into the scene and she just is so natural and she ad libs. And I'm like, you're eight. Like, how are you doing this? So she's been. I wish I could work with her every day. He's probably one of my favorite directors I've ever worked with. Um, is that this is a very heavy movie. But you come on set and he's like, bonjour, ça va? Yeah, great. But once we get into the scenes, as an actor, you we're very indulgent people. And so when it's a very emotional moment, we want to kind of milk it ourselves and he is just so great about giving you the space both him and Matsu um, the cinematographer they they know that 
the movie is about the story and they want to focus on that. So it's really fun as an actor because you can just try anything. And what I love that he does is he always says like, okay, we've got it, but do you want to do another one just for you? And um, I always say yes, because I have to. And then I do it and I'm like, yeah, the other one was better. But he's really great at, at little details of the character.